harsh tides of breath still whistle in the black mouths. No one could touch them. Jason stood in their smoke and his hands tore in his unhelmeted hair. glares in my eyes like a lion on the ridge. We still hate, you know, a person nearer than me more vile, more contemptible who I, I cannot. If he were my own hands, I would cut him off. Or my eyes, I would catch him out, but not you. That was madness. Therefore, Jason will be able to say, I have lost much, but not all. I have children, my sons are well. That too is unbearable. I want him crushed, boneless, crawling. I have no choice. You there! You thought me soft and submissive, like a common woman who takes a blow and cries a little. And she wipes her face and runs about her housework, loving her master. I am not such a woman. Roses that bloom 
someone will come soon. Now listen to me. Spears will come. Death will come. All corn is in confusion and headless anarchy, unkinked and amazed around that horror you made. Therefore they linger, yet in a moment its avengers come. I have a sword in the hawks. I can defend you. Would you say that this child has Jason's eyes? They are his colors. They share his blood. As long as they live, I shall be mixed with you. Children, it is evening, see?
one is running at us. The Christian man, Jason. He has a sword. I am more afraid of the clinging contagions of his misfortune. A man of God would destroy him. Where is that murderess? Here in the house, or has she fled? She'll have to hide in the heavy metal darkness and caves of the earth, and there I'll crawl and find her. Are you struck dumb? Are you shielding her? Where is Medea? You have caused these things. She is faithful to you, and you brought the faith. Horror is here. Uncaused. And there was no reason to. Tell me at least whether she took my boys with her. The Creon's people would kill her for what she has done to him. I'd rather save them than punish her. Help me in this place. in her death. I might have known. 